Hey everyone! It has been quite the week, so I'm going to talk about it while I practice my Halloween makeup. First off, it was Asexual Awareness Week, which was great. Saw a lot of great support out there, saw people coming out as ace, people celebrating their ace and arrow identities, and I hope all of you got the chance to watch my latest video on it because I was pretty proud of the makeup I did then. I'm not a makeup person, generally, I don't wear makeup most of the time, but I think it's fun to do fun makeup, so that just means Halloween is a really fun time for me because I get to do all sorts of weird makeup and no one really thinks about it too much. In other news, Twitter decided to shut down Vine, which isn't a big deal for me because I don't do Vine generally, but I do watch some people like Thomas Sanders. But it turns out Thomas is just going to move more to YouTube, which is not a problem. I'm very excited for that. And on a less fun note, there have been more people trying to tell us that non-binary genders don't exist when they themselves aren't non-binary and wouldn't know. So if you're watching this right now and you are non-binary in any way, let me just tell you, your experiences are real. Your identity is valid. These cis people don't know what they're talking about, and they don't bother to ask non-binary people because they just say, oh, well, I don't get it, so you're wrong. You know? We don't need that in our lives. And this isn't a response video in any way, of course, because I do not have the spoons to do that. But... They're wrong. And speaking of spoons, it's been about a week and a half since I saw a specialist about my chronic illness and tried to figure out what all is going on and that was less helpful than I had hoped, honestly. I had high hopes when I first met with him and then I got dismissed because I seem very healthy a lot of the time, hence invisible illness. I figured someone working with those a lot would understand, but Guess not. And it's like, wow, you're one of the healthiest sick people I've ever seen. Like, yup. What ended up happening there is I did get a prescription for a new medication that will help my sympathetic nervous system not be so overactive. Basically, I just have stress hormones running through my body all of the time for no reason, or for no reason that we've figured out yet anyway. And while I've noticed a difference in the uh, levels of adrenaline and stuff, it's also making me really sick, so I'm hoping that's just a temporary thing. I'm hoping that my body will just get accustomed to not feeling extremely fight-or-flight response all the time. But we'll see. I am able to do things like stand up a lot more than I was able to before, so that's really nice um, when I'm not feeling like I'm going to be sick all the time. I think the one thing we did actually figure out through all of the testing that I went through, is that I literally don't have enough blood, specifically plasma in my blood, which I have joked about before that I just don't have enough blood, haha, <laughs> isn't this so funny, but like, but actually I just don't have enough, which makes vampire costumes very fitting. Unfortunately, I can't just suck people's blood to fix this problem, so I was recommended to eat a lot more salt, like just salt all of my food until it almost doesn't taste good. And I'm not a huge fan of salt, like I'm starting to get used to it, but it's not something I've really done before. I have much more of a sweet tooth. So if you like salt and have any recommendations for salty foods that I should try that aren't like pretzels or potato chips, please let me know because I am definitely looking for more ways to incorporate salt into my diet. Another fun symptom I'm dealing with is that I'm cold all the time, and that's like a normal thing for me. I'm normally just a very cold-blooded person, physically, not emotionally. But I am extremely cold, and we just haven't turned the heating on in our house because it's expensive, and I am suffering. Again, very apt for a vampire costume. This was technically last week, but the new Rocky Horror remake came out, starring Laverne Cox, which was incredible. As a remake, I mean, obviously you can't really compare it to the original very much because the original wasn't inherently a good film, but then it became a cult classic for obvious reasons, and it's going to be compared to it, but they're two different films, and Laverne is just fantastic. Ugh. 
there were some people being transphobic, being like, oh, why is a trans woman playing this role, blah blah blah, but like, get over it. And she hasn't been on my channel in a little while because she's been very busy with dance and school and everything but my little sister Kylie just turned 16 this week so that's pretty exciting. For the finishing touches I'm going to take some of her lip gloss and just put it on the inside of my lips to make it look like I have a bit more blood than I do. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed our little chat. I don't think I've actually ever gone as a vampire before besides Marshall Lee. Please let me know in the comments what you're going to be this Halloween. I do have a little bit of a lisp here. <laughs> I am working on it, okay? I personally don't do the scary side of things so much because I'm sick, but if you do, have fun with that. And I will be back next week looking more human, probably. Happy Halloween. Look what I can do with my tongue. I feel like that's inappropriate. I'm not gonna think about it too hard.